Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Today I will introduce our group team which is Science for Life. Our group members are Whitney Viola Christopher, No Siti No Farisha binti Ruslan, Farul No Farunisa binti Baki, Loh Zi Loh Chiu Ziu, and and me Siti No Farisa binti Mansu. Our group choosing sulfur hexafluoride to discuss today. Uh, this molecule has octa geometry shape containing of fluorine atom that attach to central sulfur atom. Next, uh, I will try, uh, discuss with you guys about Lewis structure. When atom react to form chemical bond, only the electron in outermost or valence shell are involved. Thus, only electron configuration of the valence shell is important to bond formation. In other place, in basis on the electron in outermost shell, we use special symbol known as Lewis dot structure. Lewis dot structure are convenient way to showing the number of valent electrons and how the these electrons are involved in the process of bond formation. Sulfur hexafluoride is an organic, colorless, odorless, non-flammable, non-toxic, but actually extremely potent greenhouse gas and excellent electrical insulator. Next, this molecule typical for non-polar gas. It poorly soluble in water but quite soluble in non-polar organic. That's all for me. Okay, octet rule always applied when atom combine in order to achieve a more stable electronic configuration. Maximum stability results when an atom is isoelectronic with a noble gas. So, atom can achieve a noble gas co configuration through two processes, which is first transferring transferring electron uh, that lead the formation of ionic bond. For example, this process always happen between metal and non-metal element. For example, sodium and chlorine. Okay, sodium and chlorine is the common example for the ionic bond for the ionic bond. So the second process is the sharing of electron that uh, lead to the formation of covalent bond. For example, it always happen between non-metal and metal element. Uh, for example, uh, carbon and oxygen which lead to the formation of carbon dioxide sharing electron that lead the formation of covalent bond. For example, for example, non-metal and non-metal element. Uh, as we can we can see, um, carbon and oxygen can combine together be, uh, because of the covalent bond and form carbon dioxide. So, uh, so we can conclude that the octet rule is important in order to achieve the more stable electronic co configuration. So, that's all from me. Thank you. Bye! So, hi. My name is Brittany Vera Christopher. Today, I will explain to you about the sulfur hexafluoride. So, sulfur hexafluoride. This molecule from VFCPR of valence shell electron pair function is AX6, which are the geometrical shape of this AX6 is octahedral. For the first step, we must count all the total valence electron for this molecule. Because of sulfur is from group 16, so the valence electron is 6, plus with 
fluorine from group 17, so the valence electron is 7 times with 6 because of the fluorine have 6 atoms, so we must times with 6. So, equal with 48 electron valence. Valence electron. Second step is we, mu we must decide which are the central atom and the terminal atom. So, from the periodic table, sulfur is the less electronegativity. So, sulfur is the central, while the fluorine will the terminal atom. After that, we draw the we draw the single bond between sulfur and fluorine. Then we complete octet for all the terminals. Lastly, we count if we get same with the total valence electron for this skeletal structure. From the terminal atom, we have 6, 2 or 6. 6 valence electron times with 6 of fluorine equal 36. Then 1, 2, 2 single bond times with 6 equal 12. So the total is 48. 48 valence electron. So we can conclude that uh, this skeletal structure is the stable. From me, thank you. Everyone, my name is Makari Sabiti Bakri and I will show all of you how to draw Lewis structure. To draw Lewis structure, there are four steps. First, Step determine the total number of valence electron. Step 2 identify the central and terminal atom. To identify the central, choose more electropositive atom. For terminal, choose less electropositive atom. Step 3 complete on octet for all terminal except for hydrogen. Step 4 place the remaining electron on the central atom. To draw FS6 Lewis structure, we first count the valence electron for the FS6 molecule. First, we list down the atom in FS6 and its valence electron. We have 1 sulfur and 6 fluorine. Sulfur has 6 valence electron, so 6 valence electron multiplied with 1 equal to 6 valence electron. Fluorine has 7 valence electron, so 7 multiplied with 6 equal to 42 valence electron. Then, we we'll calculate the total of valence electron in Fs6, which is 48 valence electron. Now, let's draw Lewis structure. We choose sulfur as central atom as it is more electropositive than fluorine. Note that sulfur is on period 3, so it can have expanded octet and able to have more than 8 valence electron. Then, we complete the octet for all terminal fluorine. As the result, we have 6 electron pair and no lone pair. Hi everyone, my name is Lao Shushu and now I will continue to explain about the bond angle. So, there is two factors that will affect the bond angle, which is non pair and double bond or triple bond. If a structure that contains non pair or double bond or single bond, that will cause a stronger repulsion force between the, angle, between the bond and will cause the angle between the bond become larger. Then, in, our, in, a, in the model that we use in this assignment is sulfur hexachloride. So, so this is the structure that we use and from these structures we can see that from this structure we can see that there is no any lone pair or double bond or single bond in the structures. So the repulsion force between the bond is equivalent and we can see that the angle between the bond are equal which is 90 degrees. There is no lone pair in this structure. So we can know that 
The general formula of this structure is AX6 and the geometrical shape of this structure is octahedral. Now I will continue to the part of formal charge. So first of all, what is a formal charge? Okay, actually a formal charge is a charge an atom would have if all the all the electrons are shared equally. Okay. The, the formula that used to calculate the formal charge is the number of valence electrons minus the number of unshared valence electrons minus half of the number of valence electrons. And for example, uh, in the structure that we used just now, sulfur hexafluoride, sulfur is the element come from group 16, and we know that sulfur has six valence electrons. Sulfur has a share 12 valence electrons with other six fluorine atoms. So the sulfur atom has no any other unshared valence electrons. So we can write as 6 minus 0 minus 12 over 2 is equal to 0. And we can apply the same formula to calculate the formal charge of fluorine. Fluorine is the element from group 17 and it has 7 spallant electrons. So we apply it to the formula, we can see that the fluorine has has six unshadow valence electrons and have two shadow valence electrons with sulfur atom. So we can write as seven minus six <coughs> minus two over two is also equal to zero. And the from the formula or from the formal charge we calculate, we can conclude that the sulfur hexafluoride or we can conclude that the sulfur hexafluoride is a neutral molecule. Okay, so that's all from us. Thank you for watching this video. Hope that this video can help you to learn more about the Lewis structure, the balance shell electron pair repulsion theory, and the molecular shape. That's all. Bye!